In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Roblox account manager. Now, this is good for you as you can join a server on multiple accounts on one computer, which is really good. I'm going to show you right now. See, look, there's one. See now. See now there's another account. And you can just, you know, control the accounts from things. So you can, you know, say grind coins, I guess. This is for an upcoming video. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. And I'm going to show you how to install it and everything and all that. So, first thing you want to do. Search up Roblox Account Manager. And now, the first thing you want to click on is the GitHub link. I will link it in the description or the main comment. I don't know. I'll I'll probably do both. Anyways, just click this one. Right? No. What you want to do is scroll down and click releases. Okay? And then we're going to click the most recent one. Let's say it's this. Okay? Let's say it's that. Then you're going to go down here and just go click on this one. And then you're going to download this. And then you're gonna I have this thing called Breeze Zip. Uh, I think it's just a normal instruction. It will do the same like on the Windows computer. So for some reason nothing works. If you can't do that, just look up how to extract the file. So yeah. So then you're just gonna extract this. Extract, right? If you get an explorer, right? And I'm gonna click a Roblox account manager. And then download some files and all that. And then there. Now, here, it could be... I like to do password locked. But default encryption, it's just like... Here, you can read that. This encryption method doesn't allow sharing your account and other devices. Data across multiple devices unless you manually decrypt the data. Which, nah, I, I don't feel like doing that. So, it's probably just better to do password locked. Password lock, type in password for the thing. I messed up a second time. Oh no. Okay, there. So now you have everything loaded. Now, what you want to do is because this is so the multiple Roblox thing is turned off by default. So. What you want to do to fix that is go over here and click this little settings tab right here. And then you're going to click multi Roblox. This section or this option is automatically turned off. This allows you to run multiple accounts now. Roblox is so we have to close this first. And we're going to click this again. Okay, there. Now let's try. Let's see if it works now. So I got one account in. And I believe we have a second account. Yeah, so now that works. Now, that's really all you need to know. I mean, there's some other things in here if you want to check that out. I know there's a way to multi-inject if you're a, a, a little scripter. But, well, I was a scripter once, not anymore. So I can't really say that. Anyways, whenever you want to join your game, some random game, right? You want to put the place ID in here. So like, let's say pet sim, you're just going to copy this thing from the top, copy, right, and then go to the thing, and it's going to paste it in here. Right, now you have, you can join pet sim. Now, if you want to uh, launch two accounts at once, just press that, just press the default, and then join. So, um, that's all you really need to know, so yeah. So you have to put in your account password, which it, it will not hack you. Let's. I've been using this for basically a year now. Nothing's happened to me, and yeah, that's really nothing. So if you're worried about that, no. Unless they get you know hacked, then yeah, that's a problem. But yeah, so that's all. Uh, I'll see you. See you next time. So yeah.